Hello, Rosie Hardy, owner of Cardi's Cottage Garden Plants. Thank you for looking at our videos. Please do subscribe to our channel. Here we are at Hampton Court Palace Flower Show and this year we have been honoured to be Master Grower. I just want to show you one or two plant combinations that I have managed to achieve here on our display. And it starts with utilising height and colour and shape. So you have this wonderful diacea and this one is hot please. And look at the height of it. See, if I stand up, it's up to my height. Now, obviously, not everybody knows how tall I am, but I am around about 1 meter 65. So that is a really tall plant that doesn't require staking. It will go in a sunny-ish border, any reasonable soil. And look at these flowers. It just flowers and flowers and flowers. And it is a hardy perennial. It is not like the diaceas that you put in your hanging baskets. Followed along with that, you get this lovely grass. This is Miscanthus cosmopolitan, going down into spikes. So you're changing the shapes that you're utilizing. Salvia amethyst, and then this amazing sea holly here. Look at the blue that comes through. These start off green, and then everything goes blue on all of these. This is a ringium big blue superb plant, really architectural, again holds itself up and the contrast of that against that, not just the shape but the colours, really amazing. Going into this lovely lichness coronaria here, this is Gardener's World. Normal coronaria has single flowers, this has beautiful double magenta flowers and it's just going to pop and they will all come out and look fantastic. A little bit of Agastache blue boa which is going to grow up a bit later and then the mingling of those flowers together will look really good. And then every now and again you need to put in the odd annual and I love to use things like this which are your traditional old cottage garden style annuals. This one is Nigella, this one happens to be Persian pink and it's just a cracking colour. You can use the blue ones, the white ones and then allow them to sell seed. If they become too much then you thin them out but they do work really really well. So that is just a really small snapshot of wonderful combinations that you can put into your garden and really enjoy through the summer months. On this area of the display this fabulous airy plant is Galinia trifoliata. Beautiful, soft little white flowers, lovely wiry stems. It holds itself up really, really well and just makes a wonderful mound. It's a brilliant plant for shady areas. And then we move on from something which is fluffy and light to something which has fluffy looking flowers, but they're standing out above green foliage. Again, you've got dark stem on this. This is a Runcus Horatio. This likes a little bit of a damper soil to it. Mixed in with these fabulous hostas, smaller leafed hostas. This one is cherry berry, really, really sweet. Good variegation on it and it's a fabulous thing and then you get the wonderful astrantia or masterwort they are such brilliant plants they make super big clumps as long as you have got big uh, areas they will go in quite nicely if you've got a smaller garden then one plant is fine look at this really really super flowers on these and they rebloom right the way through then we have this beautiful bright geranium this is geranium silus stemon has this wonderful dark eye to it and it's a good tall variety makes decent sized clumps in a garden so the combination of silus stemon with the beautiful white here of the astrantia different shaped leaves they look really great together and then you know this little aruncus they are such good plants they're good traditional herbaceous perennials which work well in the border and then if you want to have a big contrast look at the size of this hosta when you consider the hosta cherry berry that we saw earlier on this bit you saw small leaves this 
Look at the size of these leaves. Huge, stonking leaves. They're really, really good. They're one of the ones which the slugs do not like to eat. And then we'll end up, there's another Aruncus here. That one is Nephii. We'll perhaps talk about that a bit later. And we've also got a fabulous new Digitalis here, Digitalis Firebird. But the king plant in here is this hosta. Hosta, sum and substance. What a fantastic plant. Thank you very much for listening and do subscribe to the channel.